St Mary's Hospital in Paddington. Photographers and fans have been outside for days, in some cases even weeks. Everyone from royal press officers to journalists, waiting to see if George will get a baby brother or sister. With no news, birthdays came and went. Bookies put on stunts. And rather unconvincing look-alike grandparents popped by. I haven't got a clear either now. It's sort of when it happens, it happens. But as time ticked, the crowds steadily grew. Well, there might not be the sort of hysteria we saw when Prince George was born here, but a royal birth will always draw the crowds and there's still a good deal of excitement. The royal couple, having seen the fans waiting on television, even had pastries delivered to the pavement. Pink ribbon! Oh, pink ribbon. <laughs> yeah, but any news of Labour was confined to general election coverage. We're here for George, um, and we wanted to be here for this one as well. We couldn't miss it for the world. The last time the atmosphere was so electric, and the feeling that we got when they came out with the baby, we couldn't miss it again. We couldn't, couldn't miss this one. Seasoned royal watchers are used to waiting for new arrivals like William in 1982. And Princess Diana smiling, looking simply radiant. Harry in 1984. There was just a glimpse of him, wrapped up against a chilly afternoon. and two years ago for the birth of Prince George. Well, he's got a good pair of lungs on him, that's for sure. Uh, he's, uh, he's a big boy, he's quite heavy, but uh, we're still working on a name, so we'll have that as soon as we can. But uh, it's the first time we've seen him, really, so having a proper chance to catch up and see him. Feeling feels like. So. Very special. Kate had let slip the baby was due mid to late April. Now into May, she too must have been wondering just when he or she would make an entrance. For days, there was a state of limbo outside the Lindo. And then, just after 6 a.m. on May the 2nd, uh, breaking news for you, and the Duchess of Cambridge has been admitted to St Mary's Hospital this morning in the early stages of labour. Within minutes, TV cameras went live. The sibling was on his or her way. <laughs> Amongst those rushing into position was veteran son photographer Arthur Edwards, hoping for a photo with mum, dad, baby and George. You know, you know, you never know. He does everything his own way, William, and uh, you know, no one's ever done that before. Um, when Prince Harry was born, Prince William was at home when they left. Uh, maybe this time they may bring him little fella along. As the Duke and Duchess prepared to meet their new baby, others reflected on how well they've taken to parenthood. Their experience with Prince George has put Kate and William in good stead for number two. And as for any parents, second time round is usually easier and less stressful than when baby number one comes along. It's the sound of a new star. Now, two years after George arrived, the announcement finally came via an email from Kensington Palace. We've got a baby? 
come here? Tell me. So, uh, we've just had the email through. Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cambridge, was safely delivered of a daughter. It's a daughter! <laughs> At 8.34 this morning, the baby weighs eight pounds, three ounces. The Duke of Cambridge was present for the birth. Oh, gosh, I need to breathe. Uh, the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince Harry, who's in Australia, and members of both families have been informed and are delighted with the news. Her Royal Highness and her child are I'm doing well. Free. Really excited that it's a girl, really happy. So pleased, so pleased. We've been waiting for so long. It's a lovely little girl. Today my jacket is matching. Yeah, yeah it's nice that it's a girl. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's the uh, edge of the election business, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the little princess, what do you think of that? Oh, I think that's brilliant. I've got a princess badge. <laughs> And I've got some champagne that I would like to give to them if I can. What makes this baby special? She can make more babies. Then, in a modern move for a traditional family, a message on Twitter. And word quickly spread. There's another royal in the world this morning, and this time it's a little princess. Kate Middleton has given birth to a healthy baby girl. Britain's Duchess of Cambridge gave birth to a baby girl this morning. Y en el Reino Unido, la duquesa de Cambridge, Catalina Middleton, ha dado a luz a una niña. The fourth person in line to the throne has arrived, and it is a girl. It's a girl. La Duchesse de Cambridge a donné naissance à une petite fille ce matin. At Buckingham Palace, they changed the guard as they announced the change in the royal line of succession. In the palace forecourt, the official notice was placed on an easel. The Duchess of Cambridge was safely delivered of a daughter. At 8.34 a.m., weighing eight pounds, three ounces. That's what we wanted my little granddaughter to see a real live princess was being born today. And that was so exciting because she loves princesses. Magic, Fantastic. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody's great. wanting to... Uh, you know, Very good. Pump some of the action, yeah. That's excellent to have a girl after a boy. That's so nice. message from the Royal Navy, a sister. Time too for a pause in electioneering. Well this is wonderful news and together with the whole of the country I want to give the warmest possible welcome to the new princess. To toast the royal birth and to say congratulations to the happy couple and long happy life to the girl. Well I would like to congratulate the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge uh, on the fantastic news. Can we give a great Lib Dem cheer for, for the wonderful news? So when would we get to see the new princess? Straining necks, cameras at the ready, the focus was once again on those doors. Finally, a grinning Prince William Very happy, said the proud dad. But was he going home to get George? The 
crowd would soon see the young prince. Closely followed by his new sister. The new princess was on her way. All eyes were trained on the Lindo wing doors at St Mary's Hospital in Paddington. And then... Proud parents, definitely. It's a boy! But not the Duke and Duchess. The first visitor this morning was the new prince's elder brother. Thirty years ago, a toddling William was brought by Prince Charles to see his baby brother Harry. Prince William trotted in with his father and stayed for 20 minutes. All these years later, the crowd wanted William to bring his own son. They weren't disappointed. George was the first in line to meet the baby. He's already perfected the royal wave. Good boy, said Dad. Then, Barely 10 hours old, the first public appearance for the princess. Sleeping Beauty, blissfully unaware a lifetime of global attention has just begun. No public words from the couple this time round, but the joy and pride they share in their growing family didn't need to be spoken. In North Yorkshire, the Queen, suitably dressed, was a picture of happiness. She's now a great-grandmother for the fifth time. Back outside the hospital and the talk was of names for the first Princess of Cambridge in 180 years. Alice leads the way as a favourite. Charlotte has been heavily backed at 3-1, to one, but there's been two big moves in the last few hours. Victoria is now into 6 to 1 and Diana is into 10 to 1 from 14 to 1 so there's been a big move for Diana. Ever since Prince George was born here Kate and William have been keen to keep him out of the public eye and now he has a little baby sister their privacy will be more important than ever which is why the family is keen to spend less and less time here in London.
The young family will live mainly here in rural Norfolk. Anne Mahal, tucked away on the Sandringham estate, was given to the couple as a wedding present by Her Majesty. William and Kate have added a new conservatory and refurbished the pool and tennis courts. And they've rerouted the driveway, adding trees for extra privacy. Here the children can enjoy time on the beach. It's near William's new job with the air ambulance and there's a social club. Even a baby group ready to welcome new members. We're welcoming anyway, so it'd be lovely to have her in our community and if she ever did come to the group, it would be um, quite amazing really. It's the perfect place to have children and bring them up because it's such a like out, you can be outdoors, you can go to the beach, or we've got windmills nearby to visit and like farm parks. So yeah, it's a great, it's a great place to live and bring up children. <laughs> the princess will be the spare to the heir, fourth in line to the throne, pushing Harry down a notch. New laws mean she'll keep her position, even if a younger brother comes along. The heir has got his life, his or her life, absolutely mapped out for him or her. Um, the spare hasn't. And we've seen in the past that some spares have not managed so terribly well. And Harry, for a while, looked as though he was not coping enormously well. But Harry actually came spectacularly good. Um, and I would hope that Harry might be a, um, an influence. By late afternoon, it was time to leave hospital. Not a long drive, just round the corner, in fact, with a precious cargo on board. That evening, the capital honoured another landmark in royal history. And the Royal Mint got to work on a commemorative £5 coin. The next morning, visitors. Prince Charles clearly delighted with the granddaughter he'd previously said he hoped for. Kate's mum, Carol, and sister Pippa also joined in the family gathering. And last to arrive, Grandad, Michael Middleton. On May the 2nd, about 350,000 babies were born around the world. All precious, but none getting this much attention.
This baby is born into a life of privilege and a lifetime in the public gaze. One day the nation may well be as fascinated by her children and grandchildren. In the future her eyes will be opened to her public duties, but for now her parents want her and her big brother to have as much of a carefree childhood as possible.